Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial of SiteGround. My name is Mauricio and today I will help you with the problem called to undefined function. Let's begin. This message means that a theme or plugin in your WordPress website has a piece of code that is not working properly. The most common causes for this problem are maybe your theme or plugin is not compatible with your version of WordPress and also some plugin or theme could not be compatible with the PHP version set in Tools. Do a full backup of all your files. Before applying any changes to your website, we recommend you to make a backup of all your files and databases using our backup tool in Tools. To do that, I recommend you to watch our full video called How to manage my backups in SiteGround Tools" that you can find clicking in the upper right corner of this video or find the link in the description below. Fix theme or plugins. First, we need to check which plugin or theme is causing the problem and then deactivate it. There are four ways to deactivate WordPress plugins, so I recommend you to watch our video How to Deactivate Plugins in WordPress, where I explain with more details these steps. Once you find the plugin or theme that is causing the problem, deactivate it and then you have three possible solutions. Reinstall the plugin or theme, update the theme or plugin in case it is outdated, or replace the theme or plugin with another one with the same functionalities. WordPress compatibility. As I mentioned at the beginning, some themes or plugins could not be compatible with your WordPress version. You can check this information in the WordPress repository of your theme or plugin. In the details, you can see a minimum WordPress version you need in order to run these extensions. By the way, we always recommend you to have the latest version of WordPress for security reasons. If any of your plugins or themes is not compatible with the latest version of WordPress, we recommend you to change it with another one with the same functionality. PHP version compatibility. The same as WordPress compatibility, some plugins or themes need the minimum PHP version to run correctly. You can also check this information in the details of your theme or plugin in the WordPress repository website. If you want to know which PHP version is running in your website, go to Site Tools and then click at the PHP Manager link in the Devs menu. In the Manage PHP Settings area, you will see the column with the current version. In case you need to change the version, click the pencil icon and then select Change PHP version manually. Select the version you need and then click the confirm button. Hide the error messages in the front end. It's not a good idea to show this kind of errors in the front end of your website. For security reasons, it's better to hide them, changing some configuration in your site tools. Once again, go to the site tools dashboard and then click the PHP manager link that is in the devs menu. Then click at the PHP variables tab. Click the filter icon to search the variable display errors and make sure it's marked as off or no. I hope this video helped you to solve the problem. If so, consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about our tools and much more content we have prepared for you. Thank you and good luck.